Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for September 18th through September 24th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not resonate with all of you because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Um, I have pre-shuffled these three times, so whatever falls out, I'm going to let come out. I'm just trying to get this focused correctly. Alright, there we go. Alright, so right off the bat, it looks like something isn't happening. Something didn't turn out the way that you had hoped. Perhaps somebody is leaving something behind. I'm not sure what it is, but something's being left behind. Something is over, and it's bringing some peace to your life, okay? So some kind of emotion, perhaps you're letting it go, some kind of attachment, and it's bringing some peace to your life, which is great. I think it's taking some confidence, some willpower, some inner strength. Um, I see you taking, a, taking some steps um, in a courageous direction. I think that you're being very courageous this week. You're being feeling very confident, very self-assured, just feeling really good. I think this is a good week. You could get um, some money. All right, we have this new uh, this new potential for some money. So I'm not sure what that is. It could come in. You know, it could be a winning. It could be a gift. It could be something. But this is some kind of money. Could be a raise. All right something on a physical level that is coming in so I'm not sure what that is maybe it's some unexpected money that you were waiting for perhaps it's finally going to come um, yeah I do I think that this is a week I mean I do see some financial financial maybe some blessings okay maybe all your hard work starts to pay off finally um, this is supposed to be a love reading. I, I see that somebody isn't getting the love that they wish for, all right? Down here with this card, this is the Four of Cups. It's an opportunity that's not being, um, it's either not being given or not being taken. So this is an opportunity in love that just isn't happening. And, um, and you may be concentrating on your work because of it. You know, you may be just using your work as an outlet to get through this uh, lost opportunity in love. I'm not sure what it is, but um, next to it we have the Six of Cups. That's, that is thinking about the past or romantic, romanticizing the past or fantasizing about the past. Um, we also could have somebody from your childhood that comes into your life this week, or you're thinking about somebody from your childhood. Um, we have some clarity right here in the begin in the middle of the reading. This is the basis of the reading. So right here, this tells me that you're having a week of clear thinking. There's not any um, uh, fogginess up there. It's not like you're confused or anything. This is a week of clarity. So it looks like you're clearly thinking. You're feeling very confident, courageous, strong. I think you're feeling pretty peaceful. Um, your power to manifest is really good because I think it's a really positive week. I think things are changing for you for the better. 
I do. I think financially, expect especially, and I think, you know, this was supposed to be a love reading, but I see a lot of financial aspects here. I think that perhaps you are um, very vibrant this week. I think you're feeling very good because you've let something go, something that was holding you back. You've let something go. It was something that you were emotionally connected to. Um, I think that you've been waiting, and you know, back to the money, I'm sorry. You've been waiting for something financially, and it's finally on its way, okay? I think that there was a stalemate, there was delays, and I think that whatever this money situation is, that it's finally, you know, coming closer. Um, I think that your home life looks pretty content. It looks very harmonious. I don't see a lot of strife there. Um, the only thing I see that, that looks bad with this pull is um, this missed opportunity in love down here. It looks like either somebody isn't accepting your offer or they're not offering you or they're not even paying attention. You know, maybe somebody else is concentrating on their work too much and they just don't even see what you have to offer. I'm not sure. But I think you're feeling very peaceful this week. You know, you've let something go that was heavy, that was heavy and holding you back. Um... See what else we can get with this other deck. I have pre-shuffled these two and they're starting to fly, so I'm gonna go with this. Oh, you're gonna start a new journey? Wonderful. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Fool, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands, ooh. We have the Six of Cups again. So there's, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to finish dealing the cards. I have a problem with talking about the cards before I deal them. Um, there's definitely been some strife, and I think you're letting it go, whatever it is. Wherever these struggles have been, I think they're going away. You, maybe it was financially. I don't know. But it could be love-wise. This is supposed to be a love reading, although it looks like um, you're letting somebody go or letting something go that you were emotionally attached to that you fought for, you learned from, you know, you learned from the situation, and now you're just going to let it go because it's too heavy. You're, it's too heavy to carry around. And because you let it go, you start a new journey. You start a new path. We have the fool there. That's starting something new with faith and trust, taking a risk, um, releasing the fear and going with your faith that this is, that this is the right path. It's just um, acting on your hunches, just doing it. I think you are going to be moving forward on something. You may take a step this week that may bring you some more money, okay? Maybe you're going to apply for a job. I don't know. I mean, this is supposed to be a love reading, but I see this more as a, you know, more financial. I think you're letting go of something that was holding you back. could be a loss of love, a lot, you know, where you didn't get the attention that you wanted, and so now you're going to focus on your job instead of being um, hung up on that not getting what you wanted, you know, not getting the attention or the love that you wanted, you might decide, you know what, I'm just going to focus on my job right now, I'm going to focus on my work, I'm going to focus on money, you know, that's what I'm going to focus on right now, I'm going to change my focus, and you just d decide to let that go, because I see these two tens, they're completions, with the death as well, and the fool, I mean, there is um, some big completions here, and I see that you're going to be starting something new. So this is probably a week where you let decide to finally let go of an attachment. All right, you let go of an attachment that's been holding you back. I think you focus on your employment and you start a new phase of your life. All right, you may be thinking about somebody from the past. We have this card twice. Somebody from your childhood, all right? We have the Six of Swords up there too. That's peace again. Now you have the Six of Swords twice. This is moving to a more peaceful time in your life. So I think that you're, you're really, things are really coming together with for you and you're just letting the universe drive. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I do think you're thinking about somebody from the past this week though. Or somebody from the past is thinking about you. That's all there is to it. You see, she's thinking about when she was a kid and, and flying kites with somebody. And if she's thinking about somebody from the past, and you have that card twice, could be from your childhood, could be from your that you dated a long time ago. 
you know, who knows? It just looks like somebody from the past is on your mind. But you've let go of an attachment, you know. It could be a romantic attachment that you didn't come to fruition and you're focusing on your work. And you're letting the universe drive. We have the Ace of Pentacles twice now. Uh, you know, this is the future, okay? This is the uh, after tarot, so this is your future. Um, you do have choices in the future. You may need to, you might get some more responsibilities, okay? You're going to have to balance, keep things in balance because I think that your responsibilities might increase. Because We have the Six of Pentacles twice, okay? And we have the Ace of Pentacles twice. So I think that the, there's definitely more money to be had, but you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to be careful where you spend it. You're going to have to be careful about... Um, what you spend, what you save, you know, about think about the future, okay? Because if you if you get this abundance of money or you get a raise or something, make sure you spend it wisely, okay? Because um, I see some impulsive impulsiveness here underneath this 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 raw potent. This is a raw potential for something on a physical level, materialistically, all right? But there's impulsiveness, so just be careful if you get the, any money, extra money, that you invest it wisely. Don't go, I mean, be careful what you own, because what you own, owns you. That's what this card says. It's the Seven of Cups. It's about choices. Choose wisely, okay? Um, you, this thing that you're letting go of, um, maybe so, you were definitely, it was somebody that you were emotionally attached to, okay? Um, and I think you had a lot of feelings for this, for this person. And it's taking some willpower and some discipline and some courage and some strength to let this go. All right? And I see that you are, are just going to become even more um, in tune with, you are becoming even more in tune with your emotions. That's all there is to it. I think you're just taking the time to um, reevaluate. You're taking the time to heal yourself. Whatever you're going through, you're taking the time to take care of you. That's what this week's about, Sagittarius. I think this is a week of letting go of an attachment, taking care of you, focusing on work. You might be getting some money or getting a raise or this money that you've been waiting for might come in. Uh, if it does, spend it wisely, invest it wisely, don't be impulsive. Um, be careful what you choose because what you own, owns you. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. It's supposed to be a love reading. I see you're letting go of a love attachment that probably didn't come to fruition and it's bringing a lot of peace to your life. It really is because it's a, it was a heavy burden. It was a heavy load. It was, a, it was hard, heavy to carry around with you, and you let it go, and your life starts to transform pretty quickly. That's what I see. 